All right, the cool thing about this tester is it's just cool. That's all there is to it. Let's try to bend these leads so I can get it in there. Get it into these terminals. Now, on the electrostatic capacitors, you don't have to worry about polarity at all. But you see there's a plus. The red is plus and the minus is black. You have to hook up your electrolytic capacitors correctly or you'll blow those things up. Power factor. This is part of the power factor. This thing will actually uh, check turns ratios on transformers, which is unique to the T05. This is the voltage that you adjust on all your electrolytics. It can go up to 600 volts DC, which is, makes it very dangerous if you're not careful. And it has insulation resistance is what you use for these uh, tubular c capacitors. And then it has 60 volt leakage and 600 volt leakage knobs here. And then th this is all the capacitance measurements. So let's check this thing. It's a 0 0.003. So you just look at the scale here, 0 0.001 to 0.5. Push that in and your, your electric guy, I mean your magic guy lights up. I'm just going to do this real quick. 0 0.003. Let's see. You look at the scale on C3 is down here, 0 0.005. Five, so it's way down here. See how it's opening up? When it is full open, that's the capacitance measurement. And this thing's been pretty accurate. It's showing 0 .002, 0 0.0022. Actually, I think this is a 0 0.0022. Okay, so much for that. So when you push these all in, it discharges capacitors which makes it safe. All right, let's do the uh, electrolytic. The leads are short enough to where I'm gonna have to hook up jumpers. And I always put the red on the positive so I know which one is which. Should have a black one, but it's just yellow. Whoop, screw it. All right, we know that red goes to positive. We know this is negative. Usually the metal end is negative. The rubber end is positive usually. So let's go positive. Okay, positive, negative. Turn the, the voltage down. It's on 60 milliamp leakage. It says electrolytic. We're going to put, this is a 500 volt. 500 volt uh, cap, 20 UF. So we're going to go 600 volts. Saw the meter jump. Now the meter, when you get all the way over here, is 600 volts. So you hold this in. And you have to kind of slowly build it up, especially on old capacitors, because they will leak a lot at the beginning. To get a fully accurate test, you have to let these sit for at least five minutes a new new one and maybe up to 30 minutes for an old one and one thing you can do is let off the button as you're and you can go to this and you can see there's some leakage here right now as we build up the voltage i'm at 300 400 volts now if i touch that thing you may not see me again Ooh, i went over 600 <laughs> Good thing these things have a safety factor. Okay, I'm at five, 500 here. Go down a little bit. See, they build up. That's why you have to be a little careful because once they start charging, they'll build up voltage. So you have to back them off a little bit. Let's just say that's good enough. So we'll take it. And when you let this off, it's still got the 500 volts on there, but it, it'll show you the leakage. And you can see it's very low. On this switch here, you would divide this scale by 100. So that is... Uh, 0.2, this is one, so this is 0.2 milliamps. You measure the leakage on electrolytic in current, which took me a long time to figure that out, but that's why this thing's so cool. 
And as it sits here for five minutes, that'll go down probably to a 0.1. And then you have a chart, which uh, I think at 1.1 is the max it can leak. So this is a perfectly good cap. So we can, I'll push this so you can see that we're on 500 volts still. And I'll, let's see if it, you can see the discharge when I pop all the buttons out. Yeah, see it discharging? It's actually not discharging that fast, is it? Anyway, if you want to be safe, instead of sorry, take your flute, put it on DC, double check that thing before you touch it. And as you can see, there's no voltage there. So it discharges automatically. Now, I can also show you how it matches the the fluke when you go up. Let's go leakage again. And you can see there's 36 volts. You can watch the voltage go up with the meter. 200, 300, stop around 300, it's 320. 400, 500, we're at 493, 491. So there you go. See, and so you can use this to reform capacitors too. You can just leave it on there for hours and you can work your way up slowly. A lot of people like to do that. So let's discharge it. You can see the discharge really good on the fluke. See, no voltage. The thing is, when you take these off, it'll actually start building up, which... You have to be careful of because in your amp they will build up a little bit. See, it's going up to five volts, six volts. They build back up even after you discharge them. So I don't want to. I don't like any voltage. I hate voltage. Discharge it again. Anyway, simple way to test electrolytics. Now we're going to go to the a good electrostatic cap, which will be this uh, Mallory. I'm just going to lose, use the leads because it's simpler right now. And we will do what is called an insulation resistance test, which is still leakage, but it just shows how good the, the insulation is between the two plates. And... There's formulas to calculating it, but in general, you want it at least 5,000 mega ohms. So what happens is this will charge the capacitor to 150 volts. It does all the tubulars the same, 150 volts DC. And you just go all the way up to where it says set, even though it's saying 600 volts under insulation resistance. It's only 150. So you get it up there. And then when you let this off, it should stay up there. Oh, wait. Well, it did stay up there. You see, it didn't move at all. It's actually building up. So see, it's it's steady. Now I'll show you what a crummy Astron cap looks like. Bleed it off. This is one of my worst ones. Put the voltage down again. Insulation resistance. Put this thing up to set. Now watch the needle now. Very quick way to test for leaky capacitors. See that thing? It's dropping down to 300 mega ohms. Less than 300, maybe 250. The minimum is 5,000 usually. You just don't want it to move any. And this whole bag will do that same thing, so don't buy those. 
that's it. Hope you learned a little something. These things are cool. A lot of them need refurbishing. I had to go in and redo all a lot of the capacitors and the resistors in there that had drifted. And uh, the biggest problem was this pot here. There's a resistor, um, a linear wire wrapped. One of the wires had broken. Once that little fine hair wire breaks, the thing is toast. So this, the capacitance measurement didn't work at all on this thing. So luckily on eBay, they had another TO4 pot, which is the same one. And I put it in and it worked perfectly. So hopefully I, I get to the point where I'm off vacation and maybe do some music. But I'll talk to you guys later.